Hello everyone, this is Jyotsna. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we will see the characteristics, advantages and disadvantages of JavaScript language. This is the third tutorial of, on JavaScript. In our previous tutorial, we have seen the introduction and basic questions for the interview on JavaScript. So here we will see starting with characteristics of JavaScript language. So I have mentioned here some of the very main characteristics of JavaScript. We will see one by one. The first one is platform independence. So JavaScript language is a platform independent language. So JavaScript runs on browser which is available on all kind of machines and is hence platform independent. The next is dynamically typed language. So this language can receive different data types over time. So it is called as dynamically type language. The third one is case sensitive format. So for JavaScript, uh, we have uh, case sensitivity. So you must be aware of that while using the JavaScript language. Also JavaScript language is a lightweight. It is so lightweight and all the browsers are supported by JavaScript. Handling, it is the uh, one of the characteristics of JavaScript where the handling events is the main feature and it can easily respond on the website when the user tries to perform any operations. The last one is interpreter centered. So JavaScript is built with interpreter centered that allows the user to get the output without the use of compiler. So previously uh, it was only interpreted language but uh, that gives the very uh, slow speed for the JavaScript. Then JIT compiler was introduced. So now we can say that JavaScript is interpreted as well as compiled language. So these are some of the characteristics of JavaScript. The next is advantages of JavaScript. So the JavaScript is executed on the user browser, not on the web server. So it saves the bandwidth and load on the web server. The next is JavaScript language is easy to learn. Uh, it offers uh, syntax that is close to English language. The third one is in JavaScript, if you ever need any certain feature, then you can write it by yourself and use as an uh, add-on like this is one of the add-on for the JavaScript Grease Monkey to implement it on the web pages. So the next advantages is it, JavaScript does not require a compilation process. So no compiler is needed users browser do the task themselves. The next is JavaScript is uh, easy to debug. And there are a lot of frameworks available that you can use to become master on that. So the last one is it is constantly being improved and new features are being introduced that significantly tamp down the lines of code of web applications. For example, arrow functions were introduced in the ES16, ES6 version which provides a short syntax to write anonymous functions. So these are some of the advantages of JavaScript. The next is disadvantages of the JavaScript. So here JavaScript codes are visible to the users. So this is one of these disadvantages because uh, that, that gives the security issues. The next is all browsers interpret JavaScript that is correct, but they interpret it differently from each other. So this is one of the disadvantages. It only supports single inheritance. So in few cases may requires the object oriented language characteristics. The next is a single error in code can totally stop the website's code rendering on the website. This is one of the disadvantages of JavaScript. The last one is JavaScript stores number of uh, numbers as 64 bit floating point numbers, but operator operators operate on 32 bit wise operands. So the JavaScript first converts the number to 32 bit, performs the operations and converts it uh, to 64 bit again, which reduces its speed. This is one of the disadvantages of JavaScript. So this is all for this video. We have seen the characteristics, advantages and disadvantages of JavaScripts. This is very important points uh, for the JavaScript language. Thank you so much for watching the video.